Awesome. Well, hi, everybody. Um, my name is Dean Klinkerman. I am an admission counselor here at the University of Northern Colorado, and I'm very excited for you to be here to talk about this housing presentation and just some hall tours to go through this. So um, as we go through this, we'll be here for about 20 ish minutes. And if you have questions, we will hold for some of those at the end of all of this. So we're going to go through some very basic information about housing, do a couple of live walkthrough tours of some of our residence halls, and then talk about the application process at the very end. So without further ado, we are going to jump in and just talk very broadly about UNC housing in total. And we will break all of this down more so throughout this. But just so that you know, we have 17 different residence halls on campus that fit into one of three different neighborhoods. Think mostly as those neighborhoods as different locations throughout campus. We'll talk about that on the next slide. But we really offer a wide range of different residence hall options. So four different tiers. Think about tier four as our most luxurious option. Um, typically, these will have oftentimes room by yourselves, roommates that have their own rooms, and then the group of you will share a living space, a bathroom, and occasionally a kitchen or a kitchenette as well. Tier three will have some of those same options and some of those same amenities, but also with that, you are going to have a room not necessarily by yourself, but share a room with one other person. Um, tier two is gonna be more suite style, which is also an option that we will see today um, through this presentation. Think about it more as that suite style where you have a room with one other person and a bathroom that connects to the room next to you. Tier one is more traditional college living where it's you and one other person in one big room and the whole group of you will share one big bathroom. Um, one of the unique things to the University of Northern Colorado is that you do have the option to live anywhere on campus with any other student. So all of that comes down to self-selection based purely off of availability. So I know that now we just told you that you have all of these options to live anywhere on campus. If you want a little bit more structure, we have some residential living communities as well. So some of those are lifestyle based, some of those are academic based. Um, all students are required to live on campus that first year. There are some exceptions for that for transfer students and students that are over the age of 21 or live in the immediate local area. But outside of that, plan on living um, on campus that first year. So then when we talk about neighborhoods, like we said, this is primarily based off of a little bit of amenities, but mostly where you are on campus. So the Basin neighborhood and the Ridge neighborhood are right next to each other on West Campus. These are going to be some tier two and three housing, but primarily tier three and four housing. Um, so they are right next to each other, right in really the heart of the West side of campus. On the other side of campus, we are going to have the Mesa neighborhood. Mesa is a little bit unique because it's gonna be primarily tier two and three um, housing as well as tier one, which is WebKey, which we will see later today. So all of these may be a little bit of smaller options, but have kind of the same amenities that you would want out of those tier two and three options. So with all these 17 residence halls all over the different parts of campus, something that all of them will have is more of a communal area as the front desk. The front desk is gonna be for things like if you get a package, um, you get a slip in the mail that says that you have a package, you'll go to that front desk to get it. You'll also have different things and some amenities like entertainment rooms. It's also where you are going to, when it's bound to happen, lock yourself out of your room, you'll go and get the spare key at these front desks. There are resident assistants on every hall all over campus. So this is typically an upperclassman that's really there to make sure that you have what you need to be successful. If you're asking where um, you go to pay your bill. If you're asking where a classroom is, if you're asking any of those types of things, your RA is really going to be your first point of contact to help you with that because they're a student who's living on campus with you, but also as a student that's going to be there to help you with some of these additional things that you may have. Um, every room will come with at least the following closed storage solution, a desk, a chair, and a twin bed. Those will have adjustable height. And I know that we're gonna have some of our student ambassadors here in a second be able to talk about some of those. Um, if you wanted to see more of what each one of those halls and each one of those room options are, the website at the bottom is probably gonna be your best bet for that. If you have questions after that, or you want me to send that to you after all of this, I can surely do so. But we're gonna see a little bit of the tiers and the tier breakup before we go into actually seeing the halls themselves. So like I said, four different tiers that if you look at the bottom, that is for the current school year. Those are the different price points for all of those based off of the semester and for the year. So you can see very broadly what those different tiers are and where those, what different housing options are in those tiers. So find whatever's gonna be best for you based off of community you're looking for, based off of your different pieces that you may be searching um, as well as the price for that. So 
With that being said, um, I know that you are all here to see a little bit of our residence halls and do these live tours. So the first one we're going to see is a tier four option, which is in South Hall. South Hall is on West Campus. Um, you can see our two different kind of styles for these different residence halls here today. So that being said, I am going to send this really over to um, Caitlin and Jonah in South. Let me stop this here and then we will get this over there. So give me just a second and we are going to send it over to Caitlin. Caitlin, take it away. Okay. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Caitlin. I am a senior here at UNC and a special education major with a minor in American Sign Language. And we are currently in South Hall. So South Hall, Hall is a tier four option. Um, this is the common area. And as you can see, we've got some furniture and anything with a wooden bottom will come with the room. So these couches, the table, um, the two tables will all come with the room. You are more than welcome to bring your own furniture as well for these. And obviously we've got these beautiful high ceilings. It makes the room feel a lot larger than you would think it does with beautiful windows with some views to the rest of our campus. And we are going to check out a bedroom. All right, so in South Hall, in this specific floor plan, we've got two bedrooms. So each of them are gonna be doubles. You've got two twin beds. Each room will come with two desks as well as chairs and some storage for these as well. We've got these under the beds right now, but you are more than welcome to move these wherever you would like. And then we've also got two closets in this room and each of these closets has ample storage. You can see we've got this hung on the back and then each closet will have one hook on the doors. Then we are going to check out the bathroom. It's a little echoey in here. So the toilet and the shower are separate in this one. So you've just got a nice little room for shower and the toilet. And then there are two double sinks with storage under the sinks, as well as drawers, a large mirror here, as well as a full length mirror on the wall and two towel rods over there as well as over here. And then this is the other bedroom, as you can see, very similar. Still got the two twin beds, storage, two desks, all of that, as well as two closets. And that is South Hall. Awesome. awesome. Thank you, Caitlin. Thanks, Caitlin. Um, yeah, um, thank you for showing us tier four seeing South. Um, if anybody's interested in North Hall, it is very similar to what you are seeing in South. So if you're trying to see North, um, more or less expect the exact same thing there. So um, Caitlin, thank you again. The next thing that we are going to see on campus here is Harrison Hall. So Harrison is going to be a tier two, also in the Basin neighborhood, pretty close to South overall. But with that, we are going to send this over to Matt and Elena in Harrison Hall. So I will stop this here and Matt, take it away. Thank you so much, Dean. What's going on? Like you said, my name is Matt. I'm in my senior year studying criminal justice. And today we're in our tier two residence hall of Harrison. Um, so we can kind of pan a little over here. We'll have two twin beds kind of side to side. Um, and we always have these dressers under it. Um, as Dean mentioned a little bit earlier, um, we do have the option to lock these a little bit um, so you can bring some external storage to put under here as well. Um, we do have two kinds of desks right here and as well as this bookshelf um, for some nice decoration or you and your roommate can share a TV. Um, that is also very popular. A common question is what this door goes to and it'll be the room next door that we will see, see here shortly. Um, but kind of coming over here, we have our closet space over here so you um, we'll share this with one other person, and they will also have a closet space. Kind of connecting them in the middle will be a nice little. And said chairs come provided, lean resistant, but not lean proof. Um, so that's always nice to lounge out while you study. Um, this one does connect the two bedrooms kind of by the bathroom. Um, this one 
simple amenities, your sink, your toilet, and your shower right around here. And it will pass you right through the next room right here, um, which is the exact same kind of thing. So kind of um, and two beds, desks and chairs, and another bookshelf um, and the room that connects it. Um, that's kind of the gist of Harrison Hall right here. Um, thank you all so much. And I'll send it right back to you, Dean. Thanks, Matt. All right, well, thank you for showing us that as well. Um, our third option that we're going to see while we are um, here today is we're going to see WebKing Hall. WebKing is our primary tier one, also in the Mesa neighborhood. It's more of the one of the central locations on campus. Um, so very much a community style all the way around. So with that being said, I will send it over to Jackie and Macy to show off WebKing. Hi everyone, my name is Nancy. I'm a senior studying early childhood education and I'm here to show you what came home. All right, as we come through here, as you can see, every student will have their own bed. So with that being said, you can walk them as high or as low as you would like, bring some additional storage to put underneath. Um, every student will also have their own desk with four drawers and a chair. This window directly behind you can open and shut depending on the Colorado weather. As we move over here, you will see this thermostat right here. You can turn it up, turn it down, depending on the weather or how you and your roommate are feeling. As we come back through here, as you can see, each student will have their own wardrobe. In this wardrobe, there will be six drawers and two places for you to hang clothes. All you need to do is bring hangers. And finally, as we come through here, as you can see, you've got this full length mirror right here, as well as this sink option with four places for storage. As Dean was saying, Web King Hall is a community style, so that means community bathroom. There's one located on every floor. They are clean, so this is the only option where somebody will clean your bathroom for you. And I believe there's around five stalls for the bathrooms and the showers as well. And that's Web King Hall. Back to you, Dean. Dean, my friend, you are muted. Classic. Now, there we go. Um, yeah, so as you can see, that has a little bit of what UNC really has to offer for different housing options. So within all of that, you can figure out what's going to be best for you, your lifestyle, your budget, and just kind of what you're looking for out of it. Something that I would not recommend is thinking like tier four or nothing or tier three or nothing. You can have a really great experience anywhere that you live on campus. So um, it's really about the community that is around you and that you find while you're in college rather than, you know, it's nice to have your own bathroom. It's nice to have your own living room, but it's not truly what makes your um, living experience on campus. So that's my only advice to students out there. Um, like I said, all of this truly is self-selection. So once you make your decision to come to UNC, one of your next steps is going to be applying for housing. So the housing application involves a $100 deposit. Recognize that it's a deposit and not a fee, meaning that truly it's gonna come off of your first bill. This really secures your spot on campus and puts you in line to be able to register for your own self-selection when it comes to that. Self-selection is open. If you go through the entire process and do not select your own room or roommates, then once you get to really the end of June, um, the housing department will select it for you. So if you'd like to do it, it's a great opportunity. If you'd like for somebody else to decide fate for you, totally fine too. So um, ultimately that is truly what we have. Like I said, um, if you have more specific questions, I will end the recording here directly. But if you have specific questions about the application process, about amenities, any of those types of things on campus, housing is really going to be your, um, your key point of contact to ask those questions. The big one right now being move-in day, August 16th. You will get more information about when exactly on the 16th to move as we get closer to that day. But first day of class is August 21st, 2023. Move-in day will be the Wednesday before. So with that being said, I'm going to stop our recording and stop my screen screen share. So then if families hear 